Hello, fifth graders and your families. Um, I just wanted to do a kind of a quick how to do distance learning a little um, video to hopefully highlight some of the key things that us fifth grade teachers think that would help fifth graders be successful, um, some tricks, tips and tricks on planning and things like that. So um, the first thing you want to do when you are waking up Monday morning is you want to follow a routine. Um, so we suggest waking up at a normal Time. Uh, normal can be kind of in quotes. Yes, you can sleep in a little bit. That's kind of a nice part of distance learning, but don't sleep in until noon. Get up at a regular hour, um, eat some breakfast, eat something hopefully a little healthy and nutritious to get your brain flowing and to wake yourself up a little bit first. Um, and then you're going to want to move your body. Um, so for instance, Mac and I, we go on a half hour walk every morning. You can see he's now a little tired from our walk. Um, we go on a half hour walk to wake ourselves up, to wake up our bodies, to wake up our minds, um, because this is a little tough doing this distance learning. And so when I move my body, I'm able to feel a little bit better. It makes me feel happier. Um, rain, snow, sunshine. I get outside with Mac and we walk a half hour. Now we're pretty lucky where we live, where we have that space to be able to go out and make sure to do that safely. Um, so make sure that you are following all of the social distancing guidelines while you are on your walk. Um, but it's a great thing to do to keep to keep you um, happy and to keep you awake because um, this isn't only about you know learning from a distance but it's about maintaining your mental health and your physical health and your emotional health um, so just making sure that you are feeling good all around um, so once we've woken up at a normal time once we've had some breakfast once I've gone for a walk remove my body a little bit brush my teeth then I want to sit down in a nice hopefully relatively quiet space free from distraction and to start to plan out my week Let's say it's Monday morning. I have a full week ahead of me. I got to figure out what I want to do and when I want to do it um, and to kind of make a plan. So you probably want a couple things. You probably want a planner if you have it. Um, if you got stuck at school, you can just use a uh, notebook, a uh, piece of paper. That's just fine as well. Because okay? we're going to want to probably keep track of some things and take some notes as we go. Um, so I've got my space. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling energized. Um, and I'm ready to start distance learning. So I'm going to minimize myself myself in the bottom right corner of the screen here and I'm going to switch over to my display capture. So it is now Monday morning and I am ready to start my distance learning. The first thing I'm going to want to do is to visit Rockford Middle School website. Um, so this is something that I put in my toolbar. So fifth graders you know how to add that as um, a bookmark in your bookmarks bar. Um, you might even just want to bookmark this distance learning page. That's where you want to head to is distance learning. Um, this is recorded on Saturday, the 18th of April. So this is actually last week's material. Um, it always switches over Sundays at around four o'clock. Um, so that's when you can actually even get a jump start on this and get um, the information and make a plan for the week ahead. Now, there are some nice links and helpful things right here at the very top that I do want to point out. The first of which is office hours. For fifth grade office hours, that link is in Google Classroom. It's in all of your teachers' Google Classroom pages. Um, that way, it's just us Rockford students in there um, that we can meet. It is from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, Monday through Friday. There are some people that we have loved to see every day, uh, but there are some people we haven't seen yet. So this week, we're really challenging you if you have not come to office hours yet. At least pop in, say hello, show your face. We'd love to hear your voice. We miss you. Um, so that's our challenge to uh, you guys who have not come in yet. Even if maybe you don't have a specific question, um, just come in and say hello. Say hi to us teachers. Say hi to your classmates. Um, there are also some nice resources here. Um, the Phonology, the Eagle Cam, Morning Music, just to kind of get you in the feel of being at school. Now, under your student resources, there are some cool things here, like the National Park Tours. There's things at Baker Park, Yes Challenges, um, as well as these two helpful videos about uploading things to Google Classroom and then finding and turning in assignments. Um, so if you're uh, frustrated or uh, not sure how to do things, check out those two videos. Those will be really helpful there. Now, as I scroll down, I see fifth grade is first because um, fifth grade is the best and because we're the youngest. But um, I have my weekly goals for each one of my classes. Now, with these weekly goals, these are kind of like weekly learning targets. Um, they're kind of the big picture ideas of the week. Now, on the left here, all of these are clickable links that will take you to the landing pages of the distance learning. So for myself and some other teachers, it's a distance learning page. Um, for some other teachers, it's their teacher website. Um, it's wherever we host our information. Okay, But 
since we're starting our week today, Monday, um, I wanted to check out the student checklist. This is going to give me a whole big picture idea of everything I need to get done this week. So I want to open this up. If you have a printer at home um, and you're able to print this off, this is kind of a nice tool to print off and you can physically check off things as you go. Um, if you don't, that's not a big deal. This is also why we're kind of writing this down on this piece of paper here. Now, um, one thing that students like to do is to make a plan. And I think it's really helpful to follow your actual schedule that you normally follow for school. So let's say I'm a fifth grader and first I have science and then I have social studies, then I have gym, then I go to lunch and recess, um, then I have reading, math, and agriculture. So I'm actually going to do the work every day following this schedule. I'm gonna start with science. I'm gonna do my attendance for science and then at least one or two activities in science, about 20 to 30 minutes of work, okay? Then I'm going to go on to my social studies. I'm going to take attendance and social studies and then do, you know, one to two activities there. Then I'm going to go to the gym, move my body, um, do my activities there as well as my attendance. Notice I'm saying attendance for every one of your classes. You need to have attendance taken in each of your classes or else you're going to be marked absent. Now, this is not going to be good for you, um, especially if you are doing the work. So please just make sure you take that little extra step by filling out the attendance forms. So. First thing I want you to do as a fifth grader is to take a peek at your list. You've got your math, science, social studies, language arts, agriculture, phi ed, band, choir. It kind of feels like a lot. And then we have optional activities after that. Whew. Okay, take a deep breath. You do have all week to do this. Remember, us teachers wouldn't give you things to do if we thought you couldn't get them done. We wouldn't give you things that you could not do. You can do this. So take a deep breath and let's start to make a plan. Okay, so let's start with just science. That's my first hour class. Now, I want to make sure I do my attendance. So I'm going to write attendance on my to-do list for today because I need to do my attendance for science. Then, oh, I have a Monday video. That's nice. I can just sit. I can listen. So I'm going to do my Monday video. And then I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to do my reading number four because that's only two pages. So that's kind of nice. Now, you will notice I picked all things that are under the instructions. I did not jump right to my homework for the week, my Invasive Species Wanted poster, because as a fifth grader, I will have no idea how to do this or what's required of me until I watch my videos, until I do my readings. Um, so please make sure you do those things first. Those should take priority. Okay, so I made a plan for science. Now, second hour, I have social studies. So I'm going to go down to social studies and kind of take a peek. Well, I have a welcome video. It says to watch on Monday. So I'm going to watch my welcome video. You know, I almost forgot attendance. So make sure that you do attendance again in each class. I know I'm saying this a lot, but it's because it's very important. We want to know that you're here and that you're checking in. Um, so I'm going to do my attendance. I'm going to watch my welcome video. And I'm sure then that's going to tell me about these battle book pages. So um, I'm going to listen because Mrs. Reek did a nice job and she recorded all of her battle um, key battles. And so I'm going to listen to um, the first battle. Okay. Then I'm going to go to gym. And for gym, for FIAD, I have a 20 minute workout for kids on Monday and on Wednesday. That's easy, 20 minute workout. By then, I'm going to be very ready to move my body. Um, since I have been sitting now for 45 minutes because I've done two classes, that's a good time to take a break. Even if you don't have gym, maybe it's just getting up and moving your body. Maybe you go for another walk with your dog. Um, I know that's why Mac has been especially tired because we go for a lot of walks. Um, so please make sure you get up, you move your body, you take a break, you bug your sibling, um, whatever it is just to move your body and get outside a little bit, maybe get some sunshine on your face. Um, then you're going to go through your full day making at least a plan. Again, attendance for each class and then one or two things. So it should be about 20 to 30 minutes of classwork in each class per day. Now, this is far less than we do in regular school, right? Normally, each class is 53 minutes long. So it's nice, focused work for 20 to 30 minutes. You can do this. Um, so let's go to science. And let's pretend I've made my plan for the day. And I'm going to go to my tasks first, because remember, I want to do my attendance. I just click on the link and open up my Google form. Right? I do my simple attendance question, click submit. I've done my tennis. Now I move on to my Monday video. I can just click the link. It'll take me to my YouTube video and help me out there. Now, another nice thing to check while I'm on my science page 
is that distance learning page. So I'm back at my Rockford Middle School website for distance learning and I click on the science tab. This brings you to your weekly distance learning tasks for science. Um, so you can just scroll down to the week. You can see if you have questions, I put quick links on there to the Flipgrid and to the Google Docs. Um, and then here I kind of have my outline for the week, right? So I have my learning targets. I've got my instruction videos. I've got my readings, my homework, the big idea project, practice and optional videos all in one spot. Now, one thing about the optional videos, they are super helpful. So if you're struggling with any of the tasks, if you're struggling with, you know, I'm supposed to do this invasive species poster, I don't get it. I linked a video that we would normally watch in class. Um, so if you have the technology available, if you're able to watch these videos, they are very helpful. Um, I do also start to put a Friday kind of fun video. Um, some students like these types of videos where I talk to them, um, kind of like we are in class. And so I usually just kind of do fun topics that are somewhat relevant. So um, check those out again if you have time. Now, um, I feel pretty good about science. I've done my attendance. I've watched my video. I've done my reading. I'm going to go on to social studies. Okay. So I'm going to watch my welcome video. And I don't really want to skip right to this read aloud. I kind of want to know what I'm supposed to do for these battle books. So I'm going to go back to my distance learning page and I'm going to click on social studies. Here I can pop onto Mrs. Reek's distance learning page, which looks a lot like Ms. O's distance learning page. Um, we try and keep it consistent for you as much as possible. And then I can pop down to the week, right? So I've got my welcome video, um, my today in history, which is the way that I do attendance in social studies, right? So I'm going to take attendance each day, oops, sorry about that, um, to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, then on Thursday, well, that was a different, um, that was our short week where we had Friday off. Um, I'm going to scroll back up to this week that I'm working on. Or again, my today in history is required daily. Then I have my social studies skills. And these are things I'm doing first before I jump right into the homework. Because let's say I go to my Google Classroom page for social studies. So I'm going to go to Google Classroom, which is another one I have tabbed here. And I click on social studies. All right. Here is where you can turn in all of your work. So under the classwork tab, us teachers have topics by the week. And so you can see that for this week, I have my battle book. It's due on April 26. So when I click on this, I am able to see the description. Um, it says, as a reminder, please visit my distance learning page first. And she even linked it right here for you for the specific directions in the videos about this week's expectations. On the 13th, which was last week, uh, you hopefully started learning about the various battles of the Revolutionary War. Each day you should do the read aloud or listen to her read the battle for the day. Um, then complete the two pages in the battle book. And you're like, ooh, okay, what's this battle book? Here is attached something with your name on it that you can type directly in. So I'm going to click view assignment. And here again are my directions, the link to the distance learning page. And under your work, this is what you are going to be typing in. Now, us teachers have, we like to do this. We like to give you your assignment on here. You can type directly into the document. There is no need to print it out and handwrite it and then take a picture and upload the picture. That's way too many steps. All you need to do is just click on the link and you can start to type. So let's say I am like, ooh, Lexington and Concord. Oh, I have no idea when the date of this battle was because I have not done the readings yet. So again, this is why you do your instructions first. Please make sure you do your instructions um, whether it's a video, a reading, um, whatever lesson it is first, just like we would in a normal class. We wouldn't give you the homework without giving you the directions first. Um, so I am going to back out of this and we're going to pretend I'm done. Um, Woohoo, miraculously done with my battle book. I am going to, um, I'm about to turn this in. This is what lets Mrs. Reek know and lets the other teachers know when things are done. Now, before I do that, I'm like, oh, I drew this super cool drawing of one of the battles. I want to add something. I want to add, it's either maybe a picture that you have saved on your Google Drive or whether it's a new doc or slide or sheets or drawing, whatever it is, you can add it here. Then when you're done, you can click turn in. Um, again, the attachment will be submitted, which is exactly what we want. So you click turn in. And then you're like, oh wait, I didn't do all my battles. Um, I only did this week and I have to do next week. And so you can just click this unsubmit button. This will allow you to continue working on your document um, and make any changes. Or maybe Mrs. Reed gave me some feedback saying it wasn't very good or you did not listen to all the directions. Um, so maybe you want to unsubmit and create more feedback. 
Now, if you have questions, you can type it right here in these private comments. You can say, this is Reek. I read the directions. Ooh, mistake. But I still don't understand. Um, and you can click send. This will let Mrs. Reek have a private comment back to you, kind of like your text messaging almost, right? And so she'll see this at some point and she will respond. Um, this is a nice way to contact us as well if it's outside office hours because we get notifications too that, hey, um, so-and-so left you a comment. So that's kind of nice. All right, I am done with my social studies for the day. I'm going to move on to gym. I'm going to do my attendance and then I'm going to do my 20 minute video. So again, please make sure you do your attendance. Um, again, a big, nice, helpful thing is this checklist. As you go through, actually cross off as you're done with things. All right, science, did my attendance. Whoosh. Plus, it makes you feel way more accomplished when you get to do those things. I've done that. I've done this. I'm ready to go. Now, um, one big change for next, starting this week, is that the big idea project is no longer on the forefront. It is no longer going to be um, the thing we want you to do first. The thing we want you to do first are all of your individual classwork first. Now, this is because you're getting more classwork in each one of your classes. Um, we're starting to do some more new material. Um, we're starting to kind of dive a little bit deeper with all of your subject areas. And so for this reason, um, we still really like the big idea. We think that it is helpful. We think that it is um, hopefully fun. Uh, it does incorporate all of your subject areas. So it's nice to do. Um, but make sure you get all of the work done in your individual subject areas first. So make sure all your reading is done. Make sure all your science is done. Make sure all your math is done first. Um, and then you can get into the big idea project. Um, so we are actually going to change the format where no longer is that the first thing on your list, but it's going to be right after all of your subject areas. Um, as always, you're going to turn that into my Google Classroom page um, if you get it done for that week. So um, we do really encourage you to do these optional things when you have time. It's not just an excuse to slack off and not do it. Um, but we just recognize that there are technology limitations or maybe you've got siblings that need the computer at a certain time. So um, we did make some of these things optional, but strongly encouraged. Um, so again, big key points, follow a routine, get up at a normal time, do things like you would normally do on a school day, but you can kind of take your time a little bit, right? Have a nice big breakfast or something. Take your dog for a walk in the morning first. Um, so follow those things, make a schedule, break things down by class so you know what you're gonna do. Take attendance every day and at least check in with every teacher each day. Do an activity or two from each class and the time will fly by and you'll get stuff done just on time. Um, please make sure that you reach out for help. Now, I've talked about office hours quite a bit and that's because we want to be seeing more of you. We're challenging you this week. If you have not come to office hours, please come to office hours this week. Even if you don't have a question, just pop in, say hello, um, say hi to us teachers because we miss you. Say hi to your classmates because I'm sure they miss you too. Um, so pop in sometime this week. The link is on our Google Classroom page. Um, as you saw on Mrs. Reek's page, it was right on the top under office hours. Um, one quick thing is that math and science are doing additional office hours um, since sometimes we know that there's a lot of math questions and we don't expect all parents to be able to explain it like Ms. Sharp does. Um, that there are math and science office hours from 3 to 3.30 on Monday and Wednesday this week. And there are additional links in our Google Classroom pages. So you just click on that and you'll take us right to us. Um, so we hope that this was helpful. Um, if you have any more questions, please let us know. We're trying to make things nice and easy on that checklist, break things down day by day, um, and do a little bit of classwork for each class every day. Uh, we hope to see you soon in our office hours and we hope all is well and you are all safe and happy at home. So thank you.